First thing I want to start out with is the ladder of consciousness. First we start out, we start out with knowledge, right? Knowledge. From knowledge is understanding. understanding from understand God willing is wisdom wisdom right. that's not how stem graduate does it stem graduate does it the other way around see feels like a stem graduate starts with knowledge Top, right? It goes down like this. Understand he's down here. This is a philosopher. So it's going down, it goes down to this time of wisdom. It's down here. Wisdom. Wisdom. Some stem is cut off from wisdom, really. It doesn't really ever go to wisdom. There's just a kind of abyss here. Can't get there. Because you go from understanding the wisdom you gotta go through. Philosophy is the middle term between understanding and wisdom. To STEM graduate, wisdom is just a cultural thing. There isn't anything bona fide that they would consider to be wisdom. All right, so this is how this is how it's supposed to go. They, knowledge is at the top for these people. So once knowledge is at the top, like that. Once knowledge is at the top, see, they put knowledge at the top, philosopher puts wisdom at the top. See, philosopher is cause to result. Reasons for cause to result. Stem reasons. Result the cause. Yeah. You're supposed to reason the cause and result. See, one of these is, is the proper reasoning method. One of these is called valid. Valid. This one's valid. This other one over here is called it's called invalid. Invalid. Valid, invalid. See, this is like the guy, the guy at Cambridge University, you know, the one that, that drills down the front of the shirt. Found the uh, unified field there, right? Holy grail of all physics. He does this. This guy does the same thing. See, because we talk about fact, right? Facts are difficult things, man, right? It's fact. It's fact, right? So I can talk about Mars One, the suicide mission. It's not exactly a fact, though, is it? Right? It's not a fact. The fact of the matter is it hasn't happened. I say it's a disaster waiting to happen. But that's not a fact, right? See? Yeah. Off the yacht. Uh, 
off the yacht accompli, right? It's fact, accomplished fact, see. Once you have the accomplished fact, you reason backwards, right? You reason backwards. You reason from result to cause, you see, you got an HIV. HIV is virus that causes AIDS. Where'd it come from? Well, it, we didn't know where it came from. It's fact, though. Once it was fact, then the reason that we're trying to find its cause. Cause. That's how you do things. This is why you don't let them make decisions like the ones that they're making. It's because they reason backwards. Right? Knowledge is at the top, wisdom is at the boss. It's what you call the proverbial upside down view of the world. Upside down view of the world. Upside down view of the world. Right? That's what they have in the upside down. So this guy comes up with uh, 10 possible ways that the world could be destroyed. There's STEM here. There's STEM. So after a hard days of work, being counted for the STEM. Being counted for STEM. So, so he does it the opposite, right? In his video, it's TED. TED.com. Steve Petronics, 10 ways the world's going to be destroyed. See, so he starts with 10, and he goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 to 1. Mission Control, we have liftoff. Right, so I did it the other way around. Right? I start with 1 up here. I don't start with 10 up there, 1 down here. I start with 1 at the top. He doesn't do, he does it the opposite way. Depression, see? Depression. We're gonna lose the will to live. That's what he says. Lose the will to survive. What's his recommendation on losing the will to survive? Depression. Yeah, it's escalating. It's, it's phenomenally skyrocketing. This is one in five people according to World Health Organization. World Health Organization, right? Global Watchdog. Global Watchdog says one in five people are clinically depressed. What's his recommendation? Better pharmaceuticals. We should have insurance, and, and, and the insurance like Medicaid and stuff should be able to pay for uh, depression treatment. So, better pharmaceuticals. So, here that, that's scopolamine, right? Scopolamine, remember that? Brave New World. Brave New World. See? When you get them out here marooned on Mars, and they're going to have to get the regulars to make bricks, and we've got no straw. Make bricks anyway. But we've got no straw. Make bricks. See? When they got the guy, they got him like inside the jailhouse, you know, like this. I don't know. He's locked up in there. Mission control, how, high mission control, how's it going up down there on Earth? You know, uh, well, you know, team team member so and so, you know, has been uh, succumbing to the psychological pressures of the environment. Scopolamine takes care of problems like that. Alien invasion, right? Where's my lab book? There it is, right here. The lab book. Aliens. Alianus. Aliano. Alienus, a stranger. A strange, unfavorable, blah, blah, stranger. A stranger. So, an alien, alien invasion. See, what's the answer to the alien invasion? What's, what's the answer? See, Depression, scopolamina, exopsychology. Right? And they get depressed about being on a suicide mission being removed on Mars. 
Yeah. What are we going to do about the alien invasion? Well, he says we need to teach the State Department to, we need to have to negotiate, to negotiate. And then the other one is to, yeah, after the State Department leaders to negotiate with the space migration, right? Exobiology, space migration. It's interesting to see how many times space migration and globalism becomes a solution to every problem here. Space migration, ecosystem collapse. What are we going to do? What, what do we do to ecosystem collapse? Right? We're going to work on the biosphere, right? Working on the biosphere. But still, the best thing is uh, uh, what they call terraform. Terraform Mars. Mars. This is our escape valve. We're going to terraform Mars. Terraform Mars means it's going to create kind of a global warming there. Create global warming, and eventually, he says it's going to take between 300 and 500 years. 300, 500 years. Mars will have the atmosphere that the, the, the Earth has, right? Particle accelerator accident. What are you going to do with that? Globalism. Watchdog. Watchdog. Internet. Watchdog. Uh, globalism. A university of people coming together to decide how to regulate this stuff. Biotech disaster. <laughs> Biotech disaster. He's talking about uh, GMO corn getting into wild corn down in Mexico. Mexico, GMO corn is illegal. But it's interesting they would bring up the, the cross contamination of the GMO corn in Mexico, but not think about the GMO, the exobiology, GMO. GMO humans, humans, GMO humans, but he's not worried about that. He's not worried about that. Reversal of the magnetic field, what are we going to do about that? Terraform Mars, space migration. Right? Reversal of the magnetic Solar flares are going to fry, what are we, we going to do? What are we going to do to stop from being fried by a solar flare? Terraform Mars, space migration. Suicide, space migration, first need wait, the away team, right? Mars one, Mars one, Mars one, first away team, the away team, uh, epidemic. Yeah, there could be global epidem epidemic. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do about the epidemic. You know, globalism, globalism is one solution. We're going to have to get together with the World Health Organization. Globalism, GMO, GMO humans. Rogue black hole, what are we going to do about a rogue black hole? Terraform Mars, space migration. Right. Asteroid hits the Earth. Asteroid removal, that's one of the asteroid removal. Right. That's, that's what we're, we're going to do, asteroid removal. But still, even if it's not a matter of if we get hit by an asteroid, it's a matter of when. So the only thing that we can really do to save ourselves is terraform Mars space migration, exobiology, so Thank you.